Alright, what's up, people? Um, lots going on. I'm home, and I got here. I got to Arizona the day before yesterday. I got here on the 11th. Um, from Utah. So I did Utah to Vegas, from Vegas to Arizona. It was going to have me go to back in the Kanab, but I hate that road. Um, it's supposed to be a shorter distance, but it's a lot of U.S. highways, raggedy road because you go over some Native American land that's not, the road's not maintained. And I just always hate driving that route. I mean, it's a pretty route to drive because you're going like the back end of the Grand Canyon. But I hate that route because, like I said, it's, I don't like raggedy roads. Um, you're all over the damn road on the truck. I can't stand it. And the U.S. highway is smoother. And now that you can uh, go uh, near the dam, you're fine. Because a while they blocked the dam when they were rebuilding after 9 11. For security, mm -mm -mm. security purposes. I'm going to go in here and I don't know if I eat here. I'm trying to decide. Um, I might get my breakfast here because I'm going to work on the truck for a little bit. Then I need to get somewhere and do laundry. All right, people. I had to delete some videos off here because it kept cutting me off. It's the new phone, and I'm going to keep both phones right now. I was originally going to port the number over, but there was drama with the port, and then I realized that the Cricket phone, which is an AT&T-based prepaid, it works well in a, quite a few areas, but there are areas where it doesn't work good, and the dang Ghetto Boost works good. So I decided to basically um, keep both. Um, I'm going to lower one of the plans until I get the AT&T back on. And then what I might do, I'm going to see how the AT&T works. I'll probably keep, well, I'm probably going to see, what I'm probably going to do is probably, unfortunately, keep the boost, the ghetto boost. And if AT&T works real funky in places and boost works good, I might keep the ghetto boost. Because like I said, the Cricket is an AT&T based phone now. I mean, they just bought them, so I have to see maybe the, the service will even get better. Um, we'll see. I'm using that phone because it does have uh, faster upload speed, so I think I'm going to decrease the plan on the crit, on the boost and then leave the plan either where it is here on the AT&T uh, phone. <sighs> yeah, forgive me. Um, they got two unlimited plans. I got to research because I was in there looking because I was going to lower this one, and I got to research which one's better. I think one just tells me the streaming is a little slower for stuff um I don't know but if I lo lower the other one I'm gonna probably leave this one I have no idea and I haven't turned this one into the hot spot so I don't know if I turn this one into the hot spot if that lower plan lower unlimited works I have no idea I gotta read it and see what it's all about because their ghetto prepaid stuff is that's why I'm ready, ready to go back to regular so let's tell you what's going on I am home I'm home all week I have a doctor's appointment Friday I don't find out about the knot on my leg. Um, reason, I told him to put me down for 23.57, return on Monday. Um, wasn't really sure whether I was going to do that or whether I was going to go ahead and jump ship now because I was so pissed off about the whole Wally World drama load in Utah. I'll tell you more about that here in a second because I had another Wally World drama load, which is local to here in Arizona. So, and I love Wally World. They're the most organized. That's why I like doing the DC. I love doing the DC. It's just organized. Um, no matter what Wally World you go to, they're organized. Target's organized too. I just don't like doing Target loads because they have crazy ass docks. I mean, some of them be cool, and then you get to another Target and you, you're trying to back a damn trailer around a damn light pole. I, I've been through some stuff with Targets. You don't even begin to know. You don't even know. So, I'm not huge on Target loads. Um, love Wally World loads, love Costco loads because the warehouses, the, the, the way they do it, they set it up. So, I don't know that I've ever been to a Walmart where you doesn't have a good area to back. It doesn't have room. Every Walmart I've ever been to has good room to, to do your backing. So, I like Walmart. I love uh, Costco. Other one that wasn't bad, and this was Dry Van Tractor Supply, even though they're not big stores. They have, uh, they, I like the way they have the dock set up. It's not too hard to get back there. Anyway, I'm at the pilot. I was at Love's. I'm going to end up at Love's again on probably Wednesday or Thursday because that's my shower. I had to take the truck over to the shop at the terminal, so I'll be at the terminal. I'm probably going to go back to, what's today? So I'll be here until probably Wednesday at, at, uh, at pilot, and then I'll probably go. Uh, I'm trying to think how I'm going to do it. 
I might just go over to Love's, do my shower, and then head over to the terminal on Wednesday or Thursday. My truck is due for a bid inspection, a cow bid inspection again. I may, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do this alert video thing on here now. I wait till I leave this damn company because I really think, and God forgive me, I, you know, it's, it's not, I'm a rational person. I, I really honestly am. Um, I get pissed off like everybody else and I'm not, I won't do you rash things. But I noticed that sometimes people in management positions, because I used to work management, do some really jacked up people's things and you don't know whether a person is stable or not. Um, and they think it's funny. A friend of mine, uh, Kim, had worked for a company, truck driver, and when she did her resignation, they started having her do all this little stupid shit. She gave her a little two week notice. She tried to do everything proper. They had her doing crazy ass runs, uh, all this other stuff. So finally, when she realized they were with her, she went ahead and drove Chuck in. She said, look, we're done. And while she, when she went to do it, she said they were in there laughing because they had drivers who were on the phone crying about getting home, uh, some that were cussing them out, and they were listening to it and laughing and thinking it was funny. I won't say what trucking company it was. It is a, also a starter company, not the one I'm working for, though. And um, when she told me that, I was just like, how sick are people? But then I had to think about the people that I had worked with in management who used to do some just horrific stuff to reps that they knew and or that they worked for them and that we had reps that were scared to go to supervisor teams because the supervisors were such assholes and bitches and so I, I, I don't know you know God forgive me I really think somebody's playing with the alerts whenever I get to Utah an alert goes off and um, when I'm leaving Utah it's like all of a sudden now the truck got there fine there was no issues all of a sudden, I got alerts going off talking about the trailer sent in a bad report, whatever. One time, I put the trailer on continuous, and they still said, how the hell is the trailer running on continuous sending you a bad alert? Now, what I did find out from another driver, he said, they control that shit in the office. He said, somebody could be effing with you. I said, well, that's the first thing that went through my mind. The very first load I had was a Hershey load that, that had been done to. And there is some reasoning, I think, behind it. I don't think, uh, I don't know if they've identified who I am on the truck, but I wouldn't be doubtful. When I did that video on favors, I don't answer calls from planners. I don't, I don't, no. The planner should be going through my dispatch manager. You shouldn't be calling me directly. And usually, I think sometimes that's to build a rapport to get you to do shit you shouldn't be doing. And or to use the word favor and favor per truck and bill, which I agree because I've run into it not only at this company but other ones. Favor means bend over, touch your toes. We're gonna f you up your butt because we effed up on something, and we're gonna dump the bullshit on you. I I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep it real. Um, Trucker Bill had given me that statement a long time ago, and I, he's like, if anybody ever tell you favor, that's what you're gonna get. I'm telling you, it's happened to me at. Actually, it's happened to three, no, four, four company, or three companies. Once where I was on a truck, well, twice where I was on a truck as a trainee, back when I started with one company, um, back when I first started trucking, it happened to my trainer. When I did my training this time with my trainer, it happened to him and me going to a target load, and they were going to try to get us to do them targets for the weekend, because when he told me it was in Chicago, I was like, he told me what time I said, um, they want us to do three stops on target. He's like, yeah, reefer. I said, uh-huh. In Chicago. He said, uh-huh. I said, is it outskirts of Chicago? He said, I don't know yet. I said, if it's inside Chicago, we're going to be late on every last one of them. He's like, oh, no, we should have no time. I said, no, 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 no. I don't know if you, and I, again, he's been, he's been uh, 21 years in the business, but I don't know if he's ever delivered inside Chicago and Target. He hadn't done Target like that before. Sure enough, we were late on every last effing load. And when we got to the targets, they laughed at us talking about how's the Chicago traffic. And they and this this dedicated group to Target wanted us to help them out because they didn't have that's because you need to pay drivers more money for places like Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Los Angeles, New York, New Jersey. If you prep if you pay the driver more money, you'll get drivers that'll show up to work. How to do that damn job but if you guys if any of you have ever driven or if you haven't driven inside the city of chicago 
if you haven't driven inside the city of freaking LA, if you haven't driven inside of Dallas, Houston, I'm going to let you know right now, you're going to be in there a minute. There's certain cities that you drive in. Look, I was teaming and we was late. We were looking at our damn consignee to deliver at and sat on the Los Angeles freeway for almost two hours looking at the damn customer from the freaking freeway. So, you guys, <laughs> your trucking companies, I don't know if anybody watch me. Y'all want to know how to get that shit delivered to get people to this state with your company? Pay them. <laughs> shit. Pay them the right kind of money. Don't come with them no BS. And I'm sorry, my, my truck is rejected. And I got to talk to them because I did my pre-trip on my truck and I got my hub seals on the front are leaking oil. And that's not good because that means they can dry out. So it's going for the bin inspection. They can look at the hub seals and see what the hell's going on. Um, Sorry, guys. Oh, when they got boba. I don't know if y'all see little boba balls shape. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm bringing back. Y'all can see it's the balls from the bottom. It's frozen. And this is the bomb boba. They're just up the street here from the pilot. I went to Walmart. I got something to eat. And I went to boba. And I came here. So, because it just took me in a circle away from gloves. I don't like being at the terminal. So. Even though I'm home time, I'm staying in the truck this home time because I'm saving money for when I get ready to relocate to Texas. I already talked to my dad, so I'm going to semi-relocate there. Um, I'm going to have them get me, hopefully, a load through to Texas and drop mostly what I can there. Also, I need to get some things in order with him. Um, yeah, so I'll do that probably my next home time and then. After that, we'll see what the time frame is for me transitioning. The issue is that I don't know if I'm transitioning in Texas because I have a company in Texas I really want, but I also have a referral to somebody I went to trucking school with, where it's for a, originally it was a small company, now they're about a medium sized reefer company out of California, and they've already called and talked to me, and that's pretty much a go. He said, You're a go. He said, All you got to do is come drive and test out, and he says, hey, I'm, I'm already. I'm already happy. I'm talking safety guy. So, um, and I told him, I said, well, I do have one referral ahead of you and I'm trying to make a decision as to what's best because, and I told him on a situation with my father, I said, I, I do want to, even though he's special, I want to just kind of check in on him. And there's a lot of veterans. So this guy happened to be a veteran. You know, vet? Yeah, you got, you got to check on that old man. <laughs> I was like, he's so stupid. He was, he was really cool. He said, well, you let me know what you want to do. He says, but if, if you're interested in us, he says, I can already tell you your goal. Um, we've already, you know, pretty much confirmed your work history. Your driving record is phenomenal. He says, we'll take your existing DOT physical. So he's not worried about that. I told him I was going with the CPAP. He said, we take the existing DOT physical. All I have to do is come through my driving and backing test. And I'm not worried about any of that. He says, you've been driving for a year. He says, I'm not really worried about any of that. I said, I'm not either. He said, you'd have to really F up in the backing test. <laughs> Or driving test to not get on based on the referral we got and the person is coming from. So they love this friend of mine. So that's that's an option. So I do have one that looks like it's a firm go. It would base me out of California doing the 11 Western. Um, I do California now. Just every time they take me out of Phoenix, I go to California. Southern Cal. I, I Northern Cal. I don't have no problem with. I drive the wheels fall off of Northern Cal. It's them bastards in Southern Cal. They crack. That is some inner. If you ever want to watch some entertaining freeway shit, California Southern Cal. Them is some ruthless drivers. They do shit I ain't never seen. I saw a driver do an S off the freeway. Literally, did. <laughs> like, is he? Look, I'm, I'm sitting. Is he getting ready to do what I think he's gonna do? And sure enough, that Negro did an S off that freeway to the on ramp off ramp. I, you just see people do some crazy crap in Cali. And then you got to watch out for the motorcyclists who I'm just like, you know, I'm good. And big truck, I don't give a damn about a big truck. What a big truck going to do? You going to leave me paraplegic? You're going to pay my damn family. I mean, they don't, they don't care. They don't care. They give a flying flip about the big truck. Um. So I'm going to try to do my 30 more days on the CPAP. Um, I'm getting ready to get a heat. I'm get um when I leave out of here. Hopefully I get past the TA. 
they have a 12 volt. I forgot to look at Walmart today. I was going to get this. But they have a 12 volt blanket that plugs in. I had one years ago. I don't want to deal with it. And it plugs in. <laughs> I hate something to bunk. So I might just get that. Um, and then that will be what I use to, instead of using the bunk heater, I just have to deal with it between 28 and 35 degrees. I just don't, because it's 28 or 25, it's 36 or whatever damn degrees. I just don't want to have to do an entirely new, boy, I got a bug in here. And if I do, we're getting ready to deal with it. Hold on, y'all. This right here will kill anything. Love that stuff. It'll kill a gnat. It'll kill any little flying creature. There you go. So, yeah, I gotta clean the truck. It's a hot ass mess right now. I went to Walmart. I got storage for the shoes on top. I was looking for something to store the shoes in. I gotta do laundry tomorrow. I was gonna do it today, but I'm gonna go ahead and work on the truck. And since it's late, I'll do the laundry tomorrow. They got a laundry over here at this pilot, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'll get my shower, I think Wednesday or Thursday over at Love's. And then I'll probably just head right to the terminal from Love's after my shower. Um, and then check the, check the tractor in for the bid inspection. And that way I'm ready to go hopefully Monday. The bid inspection shouldn't take more than 30, 40 minutes. Um, I'm gonna see if I can arrange with Joe to come pick me up and maybe do some lunch. Um, my doctor's appointment, I have to go do that. And then I need to talk to her. Cause one of my meds, um, CVS just told me, interacts with another man that I take. They got an update and I've been doing it for a while. But it causes some kind of pulmonary issue. So, um, I've come off that. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine. I have another blood pressure medicine I can use, which is what I'm doing. And, um, because that one works fine. The only thing it makes me cough. So, I, I just stopped that one until I get in and talk to her and went back to the old one, which she had me on before that works. But I need to talk to her and see how we're going to work it. Um, because the one I hate, the one that makes me cough. I had I had full for soup for lunch today. So, but yeah. So the only thing I had a concern with is the headhunter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tell you, get you guys opinions. Y'all put comments below. So the headhunter I'm dealing with, she recommended two companies. I'm sorry it's shaking, but again, it's region. She recommended two companies. One company was out of OKC. The other one's out of Irvine, Texas. I like the one out of Irvine, Texas. The problem I had with her recommendation is that she was really pushing the first company out of OKC. Um, it is a lease purchase deal. But she was pushing it so hard. I don't I don't like being pushed a lot. I like give me the information and then I'm a person that even before I this necklace. I bought this at a truck stop up in um uh, what was that truck stop at? In California it's after you go through this. the grapevine, if you climb the grapevine, it's at the top. I think it's the grapevine. I forgot where it's at. Anyway, there's a flying jet. Flying jet. I think it's a flying jet. You got a little jewelry shop in there. They used to have a restaurant in there. The restaurant was closed. I was like, oh man, the restaurant was pretty decent. Um, but they, I don't know that they get a lot of traffic. And there's another restaurant across the freeway, Mexican food restaurant. I've never been to it. Um, Anyway, I went in there and that little that little jewelry place is still in there. Anyway, when I when I looked online to see I like the chain, I looked at I was sitting there on the phone when when I was buying this. This is about this is about 2011, 12. Research when I was working for Conway, whether I could get this somewhere else, the type of link chain, and if I could find anything like it. I couldn't find anything like it. I really liked it, so I bought it from her. And then um I bought another one because my father was like, oh, I sent a picture to him. He's like, I want one. I was like, oh, they don't have this, but I sent him another one. This is a Star of David kind of Christian thing, too. But anyway, um, the chain, everything came from that lady. And when I researched everything, like the watch, I researched. When I came back in the truck, I had 
several several starter companies contact me. I had some people who referred me in. And we're like, hey, we'll refer you to XYZ Company. One company, Covenant. I'm going to mention them. Thank you. CJ. I think it's CJ. I think it's CJ. Was going to refer me in. But brother, he, he had me talk to his, his uh, trainer because he had come back in the truck in two and had to go back out with a trainer because he had been off the road like I had. But the sister told me that if you, they idle policy is even worse than these crazy ass people. If you go over on your idol, these Negroes had a nerve to take it out your check. So I'm in your truck sweating. I, no, and I'm not an owner operator. I couldn't. I can't work for you because that tells me exactly what you think of the humans that drive your truck. You think we're dogs? We're not cocker spaniels. And even my cocker spaniel, I treat it better than some of these companies treat their drivers. I'm just gonna be honest. This whole idle thing to me is inhuman. The fact that you can't cook on your truck or have a refrigerator or a good inverter on here is inhuman. Because you worried about 10 cents or whatever it is with the amount of money you bring into a company. You, if, you're not, if you're not managing the kind of money you're bringing in, is a freaking problem in a multi-billion dollar industry. I'm, uh, don't even get me started. I can't even go there with you because it pisses me off. Which, which, I'm like, oh yeah, I won't be coming to y'all. No. <laughs> Shannon will not be coming to y'all. That's crazy as hell to me. You're going to charge somebody that you only paying per cent per mile when you get... If we look to see what these people get paid for these loads, it will blow your wig back. What you're getting is chunk change in comparison to what they get paid for these freaking loads. Believe that. So, why am I paying for your freaking fuel? Because I'm trying to be comfortable as a driver delivering your... No, I'm good. I'm so good. Anyway, y'all. 20 minutes. Hanging this up. I have some, and some of the videos I've been putting up are from weeks ago. So, a week, maybe two weeks ago. So, um, I got a few more on here that are older that I'm going to try to put up. And like I said, I might do the alert one. I'm trying to decide. Well, I'm going to do that now or wait till I'm gone because I was pretty forthright in some of the things I said. And so I don't know if I want to hold the horsey on that one in case any of the unique folks is trying to watch. I did find some stuff out about my company today. I'll talk about that in a minute on another video. But I'm going to talk about doing the old school bill method and talking to drivers who work for the company you want to go to, which is what I've been doing. And I met one in Kingman and I met one here in Loves and we'll talk about that on the next video. Peace. I don't know if y'all can see. Let's see if I can get my finger in here. Where's my finger? Where's my finger? Oh, okay. I think. Is this? Oh, here's the thing. All right, right there. You see where that truck is across the street? That is. Let me see if I can zoom in. Where I just came from. This little roach coach over there. Mexican food, phenomenal. It was packed today. I don't know what the hell was going on, but it was packed. So I park across the street here, and it's just a little lot right there, and our terminal is down the road. So getting ready to head out to Casa Grande. I'll upload this in a little bit. It's good to upload it today.